browser, any browser you have, and go in this one and write minitab.com, minitab.com, okay? Do it, please. Do it with me. Press OK. You will go with this site for mini tab site. And I'm looking for what? I'm looking for the free trial. So I'll go down here and I have this mini tab free trial, right? But this is not fit for Windows. I go for the one for Windows here or the Mac. So I'll go for the free trial. Press, press this one. It will give you a form to fill. Okay, press OK here. No, no worry. Go down to fill the form. This is the form. Write your name. I write my name. Okay. I will write my last name. Uh, everything with, with a star, red star, you have to fill it, right? If there is no star, no need for you. This is the email. You have to write your work email, academic email. So your ID at ustf.ac.ae for 2019. For before 2019, your ID at aust.ee. This is your email. So I'm just typing my email, dot rush one, dot USDF. Yeah, I'm just ID in Hatay. The ID tag. This is your ID. 2018, 2017, etc. And then at Ajman, uh, uh, Ajman University will write AUST, AUST dot AE only. For USTF, you write USTF dot AC dot AE. Here, to can just link to the chat, عشان ندخل عليه على طول إذا سمحت. You just type minitab.com. Okay. So now you just, uh, if you don't know what is this one, you just full student, full time student. You are full time students for me, academic instructor. So I'll go for a student with you. Because I already have done it in the morning in the other class. I cannot do it again. Job title, this is a red. Right student, because you are a student. Okay. The department, if you don't know the department, go for others, right? For organization information, company name, just write no, US. Should you any full time student? You are full-time student in the company. Industry, if you don't know the industry, choose also other, right? If you don't know anything, you just, you have the choice called other here, right? Okay. Next, street, type anything. And for me, I am in Hamad, I'm in Abdullah. Jiranna, doctor. Inshallah. Okay. City Fujera. Okay. Ubadin, go for country. You know this is alphabet. So go for down because United Arab Emirates in the U. What is the United Arab Emirates? Here it is. Okay. Postal code. The university postal code is 2202. If you have a different postal code, you just type it. Just to be honest when you're typing any information. If you type anything, you will accept it. This is the main point here. Once you reach here, you have to choose a platform. If you're using Mac, choose Mac. If you are working in Windows, choose Windows. Clear? This is very important one. For me, I am I'm using Windows, so I would click Windows. If you have a Mac, choose a Mac. Khaled, I think you have a Mac. Now you just take submit, you give you a photo and asking you what is the cost. This 
what is the cars here? Here is the cars. No cars here. This is the cars. This is the cars. Okay, and just finish. Now, yeah, this is a stage to download it. So I'm download this one for the Windows 64 bits. If you have old version, you cannot do it of the computer. And this is for the Mac. It is written Mac version. So when you have Mac, press Mac. If you have Windows, just press Windows. It will start to download it here. Just wait until he finish. Okay, and then you can sit up. Now you just have this one and you have no option. You have to say yes, okay? Once you said yes, you will start the setup, okay? And because I have done it, he gave me a different option, change or repair. I'm just choosing repair, okay? Because I have it already, okay? But you will say setup, right? And I'm just saying repair, but you will set up, right? Click next, next until you finish. And you will have an icon in the desktop or in the start menu, you will have a mini tab as a program in the start menu. After you finish, he will ask you to restart your computer, right? So let him start and see you after you're starting your computer because one of you will share his screen and start solving our question. We have done it before. Clear? When you start, you have to choose 30 days free trial, right? Because you don't have a key for a license, right? We need it only for 15 to 20 days, not more than this. Adelaziz, this piece is so big, right? We can make it smaller and make it wider. So from the before C1 and C2, you have a line, gray line. Just, yes, drag it up, drag it up, drag it up. Just to make this, yes, excellent. Because, I, no, 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 not, not too much. <laughs> okay, that's it, okay. Now, can you open the Excel file? We have done it before. You can type from the Excel to the Minitab. And even you can open the Excel file with the Minitab, as you have done, right? But now I would like to type, if you don't have the... No, forget about this one. I don't need this, this messy stuff. I don't need it. Okay. Now, in the gray one, it is not numbered, Abdelaziz. This is where you have to write the name of your variable. And you can start from anyone. While yeah. you're still copying, just type Type. Anything, not blood type. type the, the, the title, I call it blood type. Blood type. And we are 24, right? So can you type the blood type for the 24 randomly? A, B, O, whatever. Carry on, Abdelaziz. Okay. Now, what did you notice now when you're typing the blood type variable in the gray one, the one with number? What did you notice in the cell above this one? It is typing T. T, yes. T mean, means text. Text. Means text. Go for the second column, please. And write daily wages. Daily wages. Wages? Yes. W A G E S. Okay. Type any for the 20th. For, type any numbers from 1 to 100. Now, once you finish, did you have any change in the column name? No, because this is a default one is a number, right? Go for the third one, Abdelaziz, and type date. And type any date. Today, what? 7 of June 
Okay. Yep. Go down. What did you notice now? Okay, right. C3. Right. D. D. D main date. This is the three types of variables or for texting uh, in the cell or in the mini tab, right? Yeah. Let's go to brackets, the graphs, and make the table first, right? To make the table, go for a stat, please. Go up, Abdelaziz. Yeah. In the file option. Uh, can you, you take it a little bit down just to see the option? Okay, yes. Now we go for so, stat. Stat. Now can you... Where is the stat? Here. You have stat. a stat. Yes, okay. Go for table, please. Tables. Down, yes. Go for daily. Daily for counting. This Press one? it, please. Press yes. it, please, yes. Now, pressing this one, what do you are going to do with the, the table for? I go for the blood type. I go for the qualitative data. Double click, it will be inside. Double click. That's it. Nope. Counts corresponding to frequency. Percents corresponding to relative frequency or percentage. Take it, please. Cumulative counts, it means cumulative frequency. Click it, please. Community percentage corresponding to cumulative relative frequency. Click it, please. What is the last option? This last option, don't Stop. take it now. Right? Don't take it now. Press okay. okay. And we'll back again and we'll see what's the difference between take this one or not take it. You have the result now. Your result is down. Is down. In the screen, you have a uh, blue blue box down here i'm saying Sorry. yeah this is a really, yeah double click click in it nothing happened doctor في عندك تحت يا ابني هنا في بوكسه زرقاء كده بتظهر الريزلت بتظهر تحت بتضغط عليها دكتور نعم خليه ينزل اللاين تبع السي ما انا انا مش شايف اه ما عشان كده انا مش شايف عشان هتظهر له اي لاين اللي هو فوق السي سي 1 اه ما هو هو ما حياه خالص هو موجود فوق السي 1 سي 2 معلش معلش يا عزيز يا ابني ايوه الحته اللي احنا ضيقناها دي بس وسعها شوي وسعتها لا مش فين وسعتها يا ابني؟ فوق السي 1 والسي 2 في خط اسحبه لتحت ما هو هو ضيقه من شويه ايوه تمام خفيت الله يسامحك اوكي واحنا بنتكلم ام سبيك ان عربي اوكي ناو يو هاف ذا ريزلت جو باك اجين فور ذا تيبل اند تشوز تيلي اند وي ويل تيك ذا ستور جو فور ذا ميني تاب فورجيت اباوت ذيس وان Back to the normal mini tab. Okay. Stat tables. Yes, yeah, stat table. Ground. You know, the back, your background is black. This is why I cannot see. Go for stat. No, the previous one. This is graph. Yes, go for table. Down, go down. Yes. Daily, click it. Now take the store, Abbasis. Take the store now. Down, 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 down. Okay. Yes. Look at what's going on now. Press OK. Yes, I got the table inside as a data, right? Yes. So this is the difference between it. Can we, we graph from the raw data? And can we graph from the table? Let's go for the pie chart, go for graph this time. Please go for graph and choose bar chart. Bar chart? P pie chart, oh, it's okay. Pie chart, pie. fine. Okay. Anyone, anyone, it's up to you. We will do both of them. Okay, go for pie. 
They give me two options. What do you have now? Count okay, of choose. Summarize yeah. that table. Yes, you don't have table now. You have raw data, right? So we'll choose the first one. Now, yes, once we press in the box, you will see the variable in the left hand side. So which one? We'll go for the raw data. Raw data in the C1, right? So I click it, double click. It will be inside the box. Now go down. Press the same. Press OK. No, no, no need. No need. Go for, you have label. OK. You will see also the graph in a, a small box. Yes, now. Okay, just get it down a little bit from the, the yes. Now I would like to show the details in the box. You can double click on this one in the graph. Double click. Or click right click and go for edit. No, I did. No, no, no. Go for the, you know, you have arrow in the right hand side. Let's see because it's different from. No, not this one. No, 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 not this one. I would like to make edit for this one. Okay, go back again to the option and we'll see. You are using Mac? Yes, I am using Mac. Yeah, this is a problem. In the Windows, they have different shapes. From up. Okay. Can you check the edit, please? Yes. Go for the edit. Yes, you go down. Go down. Edit, edit graph. What is the edit? The look. Maybe this? No, this is different. Thing. I'm, I'm looking for the edit for the graph. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for the edit for the graph. Okay, go again for the option and we can make it from the beginning. Go for the graph. Okay, pie chart, choose the first one. Okay, what is the option here? Because go for options. Now, yes, click in the category name. Yeah, this is the labels. This is what in the windows you have a label, right? Click in the label and tick category name and frequency and percentage. Frequency also? Yes, also, because in the pie chart, you would like to see the frequency and the... Now, you know, in the Windows, you have label. One of the options is label. I show you, please, in the Windows, take category and frequency and percent. Now you can press OK. OK, again. Yes, is it clear? This is, we have done it from what? From raw data, right? So we are working with qualitative data as a raw data, and we have a pie chart. Can we do the bar chart, please? Go for the graph. Choose bar chart. Yes, excellent. Also count of unique values. Yes, because you don't have a table, right? Go for the first simple one, the first one, because we have one variable, right? Now. Okay. Which one we are going? Yes, so we'll go for the option because Mac is different. In the Windows, you have a label in it. Now you data just label. go for data label. Yes, that's it. Okay. Okay. Now in Y, in Y, you have default the frequency increasing. It will make this one yeah. decreasing. So it, yes, we have done the bar bar graph for the qualitative data, right? Doctor, choose increasing or decreasing. Well, if you have, if you have, no, no. If you have quality cumulative frequency, you have two type of cumulative: decreasing and increasing, right? Yes. But we have the normal bar chart. Uh, Can okay. you do the dot plot? Go for graph and check the dot plot, please. Dot plot. Dot plot. Yes. Yeah. Choose the first one, the simple one. Now choose the blood type, go OK. What is he okay. saying? Right. Yes. So for qualitative data, for qualitative data, he cannot do 
dot plot. Okay? Shall we try stem and leaves? No, no, no. Please follow me. Please. Can we go for the uh, stem and leaf? Cancel this one. Stem and leaf. Stem and leaf. Yeah. No, no. Above, above, above. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And insert your data. Plot type. Okay. Okay. So for the qualitative data, we cannot do stem and leaves, which is fair enough, and also dot blot. Okay, but we can do what? Pie chart and bar chart. Let's go for the qualitative, da quantitative data, please. Delete this one. Go for the graph. Which one? Stem and leaves. Stem and leaves. Yeah. And set your quantitative data. Daily wages. Press OK. Yeah. This is a stem and leaves, right? It is not yeah. valid for the qualitative data, but it is valid for quantitative data. Let's go for dot plot, please. Choose the simple one. Okay, choose your daily wages. Okay. Easy? Easy. Yes, but it's not valid for qualitative data. Now we have done from the raw data, right? Let's go to graph from the table. Okay. Go for graph, please. Choose bar chart. Bar chart. Yes. Yes, we are going from the table. So which is the third one, the last one? Yes, because yes, because we have, we will use the table. Choose a simple one. Okay. Now, which one we are going to do? From the table, we have this look at the table. Where is the uh, names of the blood type? In the daily column See. number four. C4. Yes, C4. So please take C4. No, this is, yeah, okay. Which one? The Y will be what? The Y should be the frequency, right? Yes. The Y should be the frequency. Frequency in where? In the daily one, right? C5. C5. Yes, but the category variable in, C, in, in C4, right? So you have to be very careful with this one. Okay, now go for option, please. Why you are in a hurry? Yes, you, you need the default. Okay, and data label, that's it. Okay, because we have done it before, so it is already ticked. That's okay. Okay, okay. Yes, this is what? Graphing bar chart from a table, right? If I would like to make bar chart for relative re frequency, relative frequency from the table, what you are going to do, Abdelazi? You would choose instead of the frequency, you choose the column of percentage. C6. Excellent. Montez, excellent. Okay. Yes, I will. Yes, I'll take the percentage. Okay, it's okay because I ticked it already. That enable. So we'll put the percentage now. Okay. So it is easy. We graph from the raw data and from grouped data, right? For qualitative data. And we, oh, we check the stem and leaves and dot plot are not valid for qualitative data, but they are valid for quantitative data. I will stop the video to have any question. Okay, now we would like to change the names 
because I, I, I fed up with daily, daily one, daily one. So I'll go for daily and change it by category or blood type, blood type. So, so you can delete this one and type blood type. And the next one is a frequency. So I call it frequency. I change daily one, I'm writing frequency. I can't write two names, so I have to change. Not in the same cell. Go for the next cell or the next column. No, there is no space. There is a space here. Daily wages, you write it. You can make it wider. If you have a name for one column, you cannot repeat the, 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 name, the same name in the other columns, right? So the frequency, I write the frequency, and the relative frequency, I write the relative fre frequency, a relative frequency or percentage, as you like. But I prefer the relative frequency. Make it wider, please. Or that's enough. That's enough. Okay, I know frequency. The next one. No, this one, the cumulative frequency. The previous one is the cumulative frequency or the percentage. I don't remember. This one is a percentage. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Percentage. Sorry about that. And this one is a cumulative percentage, cumulative frequency. No, no. C seven. C seven is cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. Excellent. Very good. And next, cumulative percentage. Very, very good. Excellent. Yes, it's shown. Can you go for statistics and go for descriptive statistics and we see what we can do? Basic statistics, is it? Yes, go for basic statistics. Do you have descriptive statistics option? Okay. This one? This, the descriptive one. statistics. I'm looking for the, yeah, it is the first one. Okay. Yeah, Choose it. Okay. Choose it, please. Choose it after this. Okay, now go for the quantitative data. Why quantitative data? Because we are going to have the mean, the median and everything, right? So the daily wages is my, okay, fine. I go for the statistics, click statistics. This is the difference between the mini tab and Excel. In the Excel, he gave it to you as one package, right? Here, if I'm asking you for central tendency, which one you are going to take, Abdelaziz? And take all of them and take all of them. And take. Okay. Now go for the central tendency. So you will take what? The mean and the mode. What is the mode? Down. Down. down the last one. Down. Okay. Uh, no, median. the last one. Mode. Median. Where is the median? Mid range. Do you have mid range? We don't have mid range here, right? It's an no easy range. one. No, the range is a variation. It's a measurement of variation. Be careful, right? So once you have done this one, if I'm asking you for this one, so you have to click this one, central tendency. If you go for measurement of variation, you will take what? And take the central tendency. And take the mean and the mode and, and the median now. Okay? Now we'll go for the standard deviation, the variance, the coefficient of variation. What else? Range. Range. Anything else? IQ or doctor. Ah, wow. excellent. Excellent. IQ. Do you have internal internal quartile? Where is the internal quartile here? You don't have it? Internal quartile range. Here it is. Yes. yes. And you have the third quartile also, but no need for the uh, yeah. But no, no, no. Don't take it because it's not one of the variation, right? 
Yes, it is very, very, very nice one. Everything is specific. You can take it. And if you don't need it, untake. Clear? Clear. This is my, my point. And now you can get the percentage and you can get everything now. Okay. Now take the central tendency and uh, variation and this one. Just click OK. Now I know this is what? This is a variation. That's, just click it. Okay. This is the difference between yes. This is the difference. So when I'm asking you the central tendency measurement, I should see only this one. Uh, the variation, sorry, the measurement of variation only you take this one. Is it very clear? In, this, in Excel, you have excuse because all of them in one in one piece. But in the mini tab, you have no excuse. When the question B about the measurement of variation, you have to show me only this one. For central tendency, you have to show only the mean, the median, the mode because you don't have the mid range. Because the mid range, you can click the maximum and the minimum and divide it by two. Okay, easy. Let's go now for the quantity, qualitative data. Can you do this one for the qualitative data? What you can do for the qualitative data? Go for a start, go for descriptive. Yep, display descriptive. Choose the qualitative. What is the qualitative? Plot type. Delete the daily wages and take the, or double click on this one and you replace it. Now go for the statistics. Which one you can do for for this one? For the qualitative. If you press OK now, what do you have? Press OK. Let's see. Error. Ah, error what? Because he cannot do for this one. The only thing he can do for it, it's what? Go for statistics again, please. Press the X, press the X. Okay, go for statistics. Yes, only what we can do here. What you can do? Excellent, the mode. Excellent. Yes, press the mode. Yes, now, okay. Okay, what he said. Doesn't aha uh -huh. cannot numeric or yes, so that's no. okay. So the only thing you can do this one from the table from the daily, right? But descriptive statistics only for quantitative data. Fine. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abdraziz. I appreciate your help.